Hello everyone. This is Krishna Vasudevan, a technical marketing engineer at InfoBlox. This video will talk about the InfoBlox data import wizard. The data import wizard is a Java based tool that allows users to migrate from legacy systems to the InfoBlox grid. It can import DNS, DHCP, and TFTP data from a legacy server. The wizard can either input the data to an InfoBlox appliance or it can parse data without connecting to an appliance. This wizard supports various legacy systems as shown. This video will walk you through working with Microsoft Server and the Bind9 server. Let us first look at installation of this tool. On the legacy system, navigate to the link displayed on the screen. Based on the version of NIOS you have, select the version of this tool and install it. Let us now look at how you can migrate the Microsoft DNS and DHCP data onto an InfoBlox grid. The DNS here is configured with various zones and records as seen. Before starting the migration, let us run a dig query against the grid. As you can see, you get an NX domain. The same query, when run against the Microsoft server, returns a response. Let us now run the wizard. You can also just run the wizard to parse the data without connecting to an InfoBlox appliance. As you can see, a new window is open to log all the tasks run on the wizard. Select DNS as source data and Microsoft as the source system. Use a previously exported configuration file. Please note that since we are using zone transfers as the method for importing, you need to have enabled zone transfers on the zones. You can also look at the various advanced options and make the necessary changes. Now click on import. You can see the progress of the import process and also see the logs to see a summary. Now. Navigate to the grid master and verify. You can see all the zones and records have been created on the grid. Now rerun the dig command. As you can see, you now get a response. Let us now look at the DHCP data. There are a few subnets and ranges defined on this server. Run the wizard. And this time select DHCP as your data type. Upload a previously generated configuration file. Now import the data. You can see the status and the logs. If you navigate to the grid and verify, you will see the networks and ranges are in place. Let us now look at importing data from Bind9. Before starting the migration, let us run a dig query against the grid. As you can see, it returns an NX domain. The same query when run against the Bind9 server returns a response. Run the data import wizard. Select DNS as source data and Bind9 as the source system. Use a previously configured name.conf file. Now click on import. You can see the progress of the import process and also see the logs to see a summary.
Now navigate to the grid master and verify you can see all the zones and records have been created on the grid. Now rerun the dig command. As you can see, you now get a response. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such videos.